Perhaps it is time I explain my zeal in battling the anti-gay zealots of any type in the U.S. My calls to quiet the zealots are not without reason. There are personal and deep reasons. My dad was the greatest man I have ever known in my life, not because of the life lessons that he taught me or the ethics that keep me from making bad decisions, but because he had unconditional love for my siblings and I. He was not straight. He was demonized by my mother and, pres and his presence was used by her as an imaginary enforcer in spite of him having a gentle hand with us. He worked hard to support a family he had not really wanted deep down, but he did it for us. Worse, he remained in a miserable closet until we had all moved out before finally searching his soul for who he was, only because he loved us without condition. My mother had conditions, though made the claim she did not, but her actions and words demonstrated that she was lying. My father never lied to me, not once in my life did I ever catch him lying. And because of that, I learned never to lie either. What he went through, I would wish on no one else. Though I am grateful he did, because it proved to me that humanity is capable of one thing I saw so rare that I often wonder if humanity was worth preserving. It would have been great had he divorced the Christian witch sooner and took me with him to raise away from the bigotry and violence that almost made me lose hope for humanity. He saw the world as it was, beautiful and grand, even held interest in my rather childish dreams. He was also a redneck of the truest sense. He grew up working on a ranch owned by his father. Never much for the city. He took us camping a lot. Fishing was the greatest thing we ever did together. We had too short of a time free of the religious idiocy, and I would do anything to go back and tell him when I was younger that I loved him no matter who or what he was. To tell him we should go fishing on Sundays from the time I could hold my own rod, instead of wasting time with bigots who pretended to be his friend only because he pretended to believe in their myths. To have avoided being a tool for my mother's religious beliefs and learn life lessons from a man who understood the hardships of life and still saw its grandeur. My father tried to encourage me to learn more, to branch out beyond anything I could dream, but was held back, his words blocked by his own eternal struggle. I saw him recently, we chatted a bit, and he acted proud of me in spite of my failures in life. Pursuing higher education was one thing I knew he had hoped I would do. But in spite of me failing that, he was proud of me, genuinely and in such a loving manner, even now I could see his smile. He seems to have vanished again, and I hope the best for him. Though he is getting on his years, and the stress of life are visible on his face. He still reminds me of what a real God would be like. Unconditional, perfect love. Proud of the accomplishments of anything such a being creates. Proud of the questions and curiosity. My father is what a God would be. Yet modern religions speak of gods like my mother, dominating, demanding, and conditional love. Gods of the modern religions by the bad parents. My father, I would sacrifice my life if called on. My mother, I would sacrifice her for the betterment of humankind. I do not pretend to mask my anger towards zealots. I do despise what you all do to other people for the sake of your own insecurities. My father suffered because of you, and I will do anything in my power to prevent other people from going through that. And I wager even your own God would be on my side as the anger, as my anger matches his for Sodom, the people who hated and denied other people. You claim to read your book of allegorical tales, yet you ignore so many points. The sin of Sodom was not homosexuality. It was bigotry. Read the whole story as it is written. Stop pretending you have read it while parodying only what your preachers tell you. Never let yourself be diverted by what you wish to believe, but look only at what are the facts. <laughs>